in the eerie shadows of a moonless night. A chilling silence blankens the earth. As you tune in to this spine-tingling audio series, you are transported into a realm where the boundaries between spirits and monsters blur, unleashing untold horrors upon the unexpecting world. The whispers of vengeful spirits intertwine with the gnarling growls of monstrous creatures. Their ghastly alliance awakened a primordial evil that hungers for human souls. With each haunting episode, you will be drawn deeper into the heart of this malevolent darkness. Where despite mortals struggle to survive while the line between friend and foe vanishes. Brace yourself, dear listener, for within these episodes, you will experience firsthand the dread and terror that arises when spirits and monsters join forces in a dance of pure, unadulterated horror. Looks like you've been fighting that thing for a while now. Are you hurt? Anything lost? Good. It looks like you did some damage to it already, and I just did the final blow. Are you sure you're okay? I don't need to do anything, right? And I'll have to take you to any, like, hospitals or anything like that. Good. From the looks of you, you're not very, like, strong. But I might be underestimating you. Say, wait a minute. Aren't you that person that asked for my help along with your friend? What was his name? Something that ends with a Y. I think I... Uh, what was it? Toby! That's his name. So you are that person, then. Fantastic. It seems that you can hold yourself a few times. Because, from the looks of it, that cursed spirit was about to end you. You're lucky I got here just in time to switch with you with my technique. I've been out here all night killing curses. And cursed bodies and spirits as well. And also I've noticed... You can see them. So you've been trained to be a jujitsu sorcerer. Am I right? Perfect. We've been looking everywhere for more jujutsu sorcerers. The cursed spirits around here in the city have been getting haywire. And we have no idea where they are coming from. Oh, you and your friend Toby have also been training. With who, if you don't mind me asking? Sensei Gojo? Really? Huh. Well then, you're getting trained by the best sorcerer there is right now. 
I trust him in your trading. Mm-hmm. Me and my team have been going around, killing a bunch of curses. The ones we can find, at least. My brother should be around here as well, Yuji. Although, I think he might be killing a lot more curses. Well, <laughs> that Yuji, he has a knack for killing curses. And he has a lot of hidden potential behind him. Although his potential has been skyrocketing as of recently. He is one of the sorcerers that will change the sorcery for its eternity. And also make it something very, very different. I trust my brother that he will kill as many curses as it takes to make sure this city is safe. But I won't let... Hmm? <laughs> right, sorry. I got a little caught up in my own spiel there. Where is your friend, Toby? I was supposed to meet him, if I don't remember, a few months ago. Or has his training been caught up with uh, Sensei Gojo that he couldn't meet everyone else? Ah, I see. So he's a working man. That's a fine man by my standards. One who can work a stable job and also do jujitsu sorcery training. That is a man if I ever heard of him. I've also been sensing very high levels of curse energy as of recently. They seem familiar. I can't quite put my tongue on it. Nor I can't put lay a finger on it either. But no matter, as long as you're safe now. There's no need to thank me. Doing this is a pleasure. It's what we, Jujutsu Sorcerers, have to do. Mm -hmm. I don't sense any other danger around us. So I think we're safe for right now. Yes, Yuji Ichidori. He is my brother. Me and him have the same liking for women, and also a knack for killing curses. So, of course, he is my brother. What about you and your friend Toby? What is Toby into? What kind of woman is Toby into? I would ask him myself, but he's not here. So I have to ask you, what kind of women is he into? You don't know. All right. I guess I'll ask him once I see him. Hopefully that'll be soon. Mm-hmm. Well, if you ever have the time to talk to him, tell him Toto Aoi wants to talk to him. And also wants to train with him as well, to make him even stronger. And I might even get my brother to train with him as well. Yes, me and my brother will train your friend Toby to be one of the greatest sorcerers there is and could ever be. We can also train you if you'd like. Oh, I see. 
You were just doing simple training to make sure you can stay alive during these times. I understand. Hmm. It seems like there's been a ruckus going down the street right now. Might be another cursed spirit. Do you wish to accompany me while I go investigate? Or do you want to lay low here for now? Because, like I said, I don't see any uh, type of danger. Or I don't sense any cursed energy as well. You'll lay low for now? Heh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, before I go, I have to ask. Does your friend Toby have any in inherent techniques? Techniques, you know. Like curse techniques. You're not too sure of that either. That's fine. I'm pretty sure he'll make something up of his own. It'll be spectacular to see. And sensing by your curse energy, you're just getting started. If you keep trading, I can sense you have also the right potential to be a great sorcerer. Hmm. All right. I'll be heading over there, where the ruckus is happening. You stay here. And, if anything happens, try to fend off for yourself. Or, run while you can. I'll make sure to check up on you. So long for now. <laughs>